Music World Radio. Your music, your world, your radio. Music Revolution Show. Hi, here is DJ Hater from Brazil, and I am listening to DJ Ridman Radio Show. Your pick up and respect. This is a DJ Remo. Thanks for listening, everybody, on this Monday night. Quite, uh, well, not warm, but uh, it's not as freezing as it's been the last couple of weeks. But many thanks for listening tonight. This is DJ Reeman with the Monday Night Music Revolution Show. And tonight is the first full length new uh, full length interview of the year. Now, I've uh, been sorting stuff out with Jason Bonner. He's a promoter in Liverpool and he's promoting English and Canadian bands. And the first one for this week, because there's actually two um, or three if you count magics. <laughs> uh, interviews all the way along. Uh, tonight is going to be uh, an interview with a solo guy, artist, and songwriter. Now put a band together the last couple of years, uh, the James Clark Institute. Uh, it's a band, uh, four members, including him from Canada, Toronto, and uh, we can speak to him all through through the night tonight. And uh, we got loads of influence tracks, everything from the Kinks to the Eels. Got loads of stuff. Bob did a lot of influences. I was playing some stuff earlier. Oh, obviously, I know the tracks influences. You know, you play them, and uh, uh, he recognises tra- he recognises music instantly when you hear the other stuff. It's quite good, really. Got two albums to play. Uh, well, just like a few tracks from each, I should think. Depends what we play. And we got I got both uh, the album and like a mini album. But the first one tonight because he, uh, I asked what he wanted to do. Produces a song, and this one is off his Sideshow Attraction album. Come out, uh, uh, it's not this year, but it's a couple of years old. But uh, it's stuff he's promoting at the moment. This is called Lake Mono Mono Monona last night. <laughs> Before I get that wrong, he's played this quite a few times at gigs in Toronto with uh, the the uh, the American, a bit of in Canada, the American uh, promoter International Pop Overthrow, and we will be talking about that sometime in the next couple of hours. Right now, let's go to uh, Lake Monona last night on Music World Radio. Oh. Found 
the charts You know his crown was found by some record sharks Something crashed in Lake Monona last night Something crashed in Lake Monona last night Just send the waters of cold Lord have mercy on the king of soul so Okay, um, this is uh, so this is DJ Reeman every Monday, and this is uh, a special on a Canadian uh, artist, and I'm speaking to him now, James uh, Clark Institute. Well, I say James Clark, then I can call it Institute because I'm not talking to the whole band yet. <laughs> that's 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 fine, um, Mr. Institute. Well, the uh, track we just played uh, of the uh, uh, an attraction album. Um, yes, is this the the first? kind of uh, songs you laid down as such because I know you've got a more well not a recent album but an album after that like a mini album is it is that the uh, kind of the first uh, type of tracks you laid down or was there something before that uh, this um, this is my first full full length CD yeah. I did a, a previous uh, seven song EP yeah. a few years back mm. this is the first full length one and when did you record that that Pacific song we just played? When did I record it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I started I started recording these these songs. Um, I gotta think back now. It's uh, it's been a few years. I think it was uh, two thousand five actually. End of two thousand five, I started recording this record, and I had uh, I was just writing and writing and writing at the time. Yeah. And I think I came up with I think I written twenty twenty five songs for the record. Yeah. And uh, narrowed it down to twelve. So it's, it took me a year, year and a half to actually record the record. Yeah, and uh, with the actual uh, album itself, um, because I obviously know it's a band now, rather than because I asked you earlier on my specs, I I was a bit little little confused uh, whether you just you know because obviously in the photos I've seen on my space there is actually a, a four members. You know, obviously you're yes. a different singer with a guitar. Guitar at the time when you're recording this album, did you actually have a set lineup of, of a band, or was it just you going into the studio and hiring another musicians at the time? That's basically it. I went, I wrote, I wrote the songs, and yeah. called up some friends, yeah. and said, "Hey, uh, how'd you like to do this with me?" And said, "Yes." So it was uh, during the recording of the record. I decided, "Wow, this is sound great. I should really go out and do some shows." Because at the t- at the time when you were um, making the album, was uh, was it? Uh, did you have a set plan with you know we go into a studio and record? But did you have a goal for the album at the time as on its own? Did you say like I want to I want to go out afterwards and um like uh, do gigs as a tour? Uh, is it you know like some bands like, have a, like the name of their album as a tour or something? Do you, do you mm-hmm. have that in mind or was it something different? No, I, I knew when I was recording that uh, I'd. I want to go out and, and play these songs yeah, live yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah that, that was probably uh, the idea all along. Yeah, and 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 when once it's once I started gelling with the guys in the studio, I knew that this could be really really good live. Uh, with this album in particular, we will stick with this album. Uh, uh, where was the first time you actually got the band into like go through this go through the music for the album? I think I presented uh, the first five songs that I'd, I'd written for the record. Yeah. I got together with uh, guitar player at the time, uh, Vince Vince Yu, yeah. and 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 uh, got together with him and we played through the songs. And he came up with part and, and uh, some great parts. I said, "Yeah, that, that's amazing." And uh, no, maybe you know, maybe maybe not that, but this is this is great. So keep that, and so we'll put the songs that way together. Which which is the next song you like to play off the album? Kangaroo. Kangaroo was the actually the first song I wrote. Ah, yeah. So, yeah, I like that one. 
And uh, why uh, what, was there a little story beyond Kangaroo? Or uh, it was uh, is it like did you like write it with a a, a load of songs a few songs afterwards and like you know you have an idea in mind but like did you know did you change it a lot or did you just stick when you wrote it did you just stick with what you had? Well, uh, well, interesting. The whole the whole record, it's it's uh, a, a bunch of songs that I wrote after uh, a long long term relationship. Uh, went south and yeah. I was I was dumped I was dumped big time, <laughs> and and oh. and so um, I just these songs just just poured out of me. Yeah. And so Kangaroo was like I said it was the first song I wrote and and uh, started behind that I was uh, I had, I had uh, gotten up one morning and checked the email before not going off to my my day job and uh, there was an email from from the woman I was seeing at the time and she more or less was dumping me via email. From oh. from Australia, she was in Australia at the time. Oh, so oh that's good. Isn't it? From Australia, <laughs> uh, so I, I I literally just turned around, picked up my guitar, and um, out out came this song. That's as quickly as it happened. Right. For, without further ado, let's go to another track from the album. Uh, this is if you just join us on Musical Radio. This is me, DJ Read Me with the Music Revolution Show about new music and talking to artists, of course. And this is the first big interview for the year. This is James. I'm talking to James Clark Institute, a band and. Uh, musician in his own right uh, from Toronto, Canada and this is off his uh, album from about 2005 Sideshow Attraction this is Kangaroo on Music World Radio With the season Changing in reverse You found your reasons For leaving me immersed And because it's winter in July Your heart wins the ice sculpture prize With your total pin you left me holding on and pinned to the fall. The distance between us parallel. The damage done to my venture cows. Kangaroo.
But many thanks, mm-hmm. James, for talking to us uh, live on Musical Radio. And uh, uh, great, that's uh, great. That's fa- thanks, f- thanks for joining us live. And uh, Music World Radio, your music, your world, your radio. Music Revolution Show. Hi, here is DJ Hater from Brazil, and I am listening to DJ Ridman Radio Show. Your pick up and respect. This is a DJ Remo. 